Some people know me for doing a wee bit of this. A wee bit of that. And a wee bit of this. Travelling the length and breadth of the country, capturing the history, the mystery and the beauty of Ireland. But on Sunday the 1st of May 2022, things took a turn for the worse, ending up in the hands of the NHS's finest so began a full evaluation of life and how to turn my dream into a reality. This is my journey, how I got from here to here. Welcome to Donegal! So this is the old swivel seat, the double swivel seat. I've been looking forward to this. I have been absolutely looking forward, oh, looking forward to this bit, but at the same time, I am very, very apprehensive. Oh, Jesus, for the bit of it. for the template that must be for cutting out so assume you have to cut out a bit of that plastic flooring stick that in and bolt it to the van somewhere that is what I am assuming, assuming wrong remove the two front bolts and two back bolts securing the seat to the floor Save the two front ones to be reused in step seven. Is that it? That's, is, is, this, is this it? Lift the seat and move it into the back of the vehicle. Be aware of wiring underneath. And search to the edge of the template NB. What the hell does NB mean? Oh dear. So we're going to attempt to fit this double swivel seat. Remove the two front bolts and two back bolts. So that is the instructions. I was actually looking forward to this. But after reading the instructions, I'm absolutely shitting it. Remove the two bolts. Take out the four security pins. Okay. Secure the two points. This is like the Krypton factor. The first thing is it says to look at is there's two bolts securing the seat uh, to the floor. Say the two front ones for the step. Okay, lift the seat and move it into the back of the vehicle. I'm going to kill that bloody crow. I'm going to kill that fucking crow too. And that's the move of the box. We've done that. I need an 18 so mil bolt. Nice. 20. An 18. I haven't got an 18 mil. It's got every kind of a... I don't know what you call them. Socket. Except for an 18. And we need an 18. Look okay, where do you start? No way, that's not gonna move. Oh, 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 there we go, fuck. There we go. Right. There's one bolt loose. Remove the two bolts. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that is. 
there's not that rock bubble ever. when you need them. Yeah. Take no shit that way. I never actually use one of these things before, so I'm not sure what that does. Right left. All right. Got you, man. Fucking hell, man. That is fucking some shit. my boat. I wonder why I said do not. That is one bolt out. I think that's taken out. There's an R on the left there, and I think I take it that way it's right and left, but I thought you went round like that. And then, see that's taking it. Fucking the old school way, with your fingers. Aha! Two bolts out. Right, let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens. What for fucking hell, jeez. Right. Oh Jesus. Oh, we've got a racking chair now. We remove the two bolts and two back bolts, securing the seat to the floor. Save the two front ones. They are to be used in step seven. So there's two more bolts in here somewhere. There are different kind of bolts there. Like so there's two other bolts here, but they're like big giant star sign or something these bolts are like two big fucking I don't know what you call them big star heads so that is the bolt I don't even think I would have a bolt or a ratchet bit or whatever they're called to remove that freaking thing I think about it for a friend hello Connor yes sir where are you are you local you're on this burn? Well, uh, I'll tell you what I'm at. I'm in the van here, CD. And, uh, well, I haven't racked anything yet. So I bought a ratchet, right? I bought this thing called a ratchet. To take out the seat. But, I got out the two front bolts. But the two back bolts, they're like a big giant star head screwdriver. But they're a bolt. Even though, even though I found out what, what it's called. There's two of these bad boys to come out. According to the instructions, this takes an hour to do. It took me friggin' 35 minutes to get two bolts out of front. <laughs> Connor Dock will sort that out. He's the man. So this funny shaped thing is called a torque. A torque bolt or a torque screw or a squirt, whatever. So, we'll try and see if we can get this. We fit this bolt or whatever it's called. No, it's not fitting. Oh, 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 Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, that chair is just moving on its own. I don't even think they, them bolts come out. So, I've just discovered that them actual torque bolts, or whatever it is they're called, they don't actually come out. The chair is just sitting here just literally sitting there and if I move that forward it should come out Jesus friend to God there's another wee gadget there I don't know if that's something to do with a seatbelt this is what I'm having the problems with I don't know how to get that off there's not even a latch or anything in behind it don't even know what that is but one thing I do know is 
picture is just sitting there. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, Jesus. I'm stuck. Look at stuck. My leg stuck. Heavy Chairs out. Lovely, jubbly. Ten mil. Ten mil. Ten mil. Ten mil. This has to come out. think this is the thing that holds in the toolbox. I don't need that. So this is what we're left with. This is the seating area. This is where the seat should go. I don't know what that is. Oh, look, that's the fuel. Thing in my jiggy. That's where the fuel all goes. I would call it the fuel pump and all that crap. Stay well away from that. Oh, there's the wiring. That is the wiring, they say, to be careful not to touch. Don't know whether you can see it or not. That's all going to have to be cut. So this is what you're left with. This is the seating area. And this thing here is the fuel line, all that sort of carry on, all that good stuff. All that stuff that has warning signs. Stay the fuck away from this. I won't be touching that, not for a fucking passion. Not for getting anywhere near it. However, there is a lot of wires there, and it does warn about cutting something out if there's wires underneath it. What I have to cut out, I'm not too sure. That template goes something like that. That is what we have to cut out, and that's what they're on about when they say about here. Watch well, what they're fucking cutting there, like Mac, because that is bad boy stuff there. That is serious shit. That is all the wires, all the loom, all that carry on of the van. And somehow I have to cut around it. <laughs> Ugh. More security pins. Um, on certain fuel center models, the additional line D shape doesn't require cutting. What about removing that, setting that on it, and cutting it so that I'm not cutting any wires? That's the floor of the whole cab, isn't it? That. Is the first insertion made? Just find some more right there. No signs of that. No signs of that. Shit.
actually doing too bad at all. My nerves are shattered. There's wires over here. There's tons of wires there. <laughs> we'll stay away from that for the meantime. Come with me. We'll just double check this again to make sure that we're in the right direction. Too bad. Bullshit. Bundle of wires in there, copper ones and everything. Looks like serious shit in here. Oh shit, I wires in there, mate. <laughs> like black wires, yellow wires, blue wires. There is not a chance in hell I'm putting that knife in there. I'll use it for a scissors. Because... That is serious in there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about there, baby. No fucking wires in there by you. No wires in there by you. <laughs> this thing starts ticking, I'm running like fuck. I'll have to put this safe on tonight because that really needs hell of a So we've been stir it. Oh, 
Ja, das ist lecker. over the moon with that. That was petrifying me. But it's the most thing of the whole lot I wanted to see done. I want to see the chair in. I want to see how much room that opens up in the dining area. I'm absolutely gloating. I'm going to call it a day. I'm absolutely delighted with that. The football starts in roughly half an hour. I'm going to jump in this shower and tomorrow morning when the rain goes off we'll get the hoover out and we'll get all this cleaned. And we'll work out how this thing fits. But I'm absolutely over the moon. Happiness. Happiness. Crazy little thing called happiness. We are going to finally install this double shrivel seat today. Hail, rain or snow. Regarding it's the wiring, we're not out of the woods yet. There's another bit of cutting that has to get done. And hopefully it goes as smooth as what it did yesterday. There is another two or three bolts that need to be removed. And I'll do that right now. So we'll take these bolts out. Give it a bit of a clean down. And we'll try and get this bad boy installed. So I'm just hoping that they come out real easy. Oh here, happy days. There's one. Should be another one in there. Yep, there's it there. I can get at it. Go on, yes, Sean, you know you want to get right there. That's it. That is one of the brackets that holds in the toolbox, which is no longer in use. Bin. So with the big bolts at the back. I didn't think they actually need to be removed, but they do. And I have discovered that these things are called a star tool, which I haven't got. So I found this Allen key that looks sort of similar to what that looks like. So I'm going to just try and see if the fit. Oh, here that fits. Oh, Jesus, no way that's moving. So we're going to have to persuade this bolt to come out. It has to be removed. The persuader. Please come out, please come out. Yeah, go on, shut. So that is, that's that, it is out, washer, might need that, should be another one of these good things. Oh, that one's not too bad, oh that one's pretty, pretty easy, get that way out. Lovely jubbly. So I just tried it on there just to see exactly if the thing was going to fit and it appears I may have to cut a little bit more off this side and off this as well. So it's close to the wires. Around here this little white thing it has to get cut back also. We are not out of the woods yet. So we'll start off with the top bit first nice and easy bit. 
it's going nice and easy because I don't know what's underneath it. It's nice and easy. I don't think there's actually any wires underneath this bit, but I'm taking no chances. Got a wee look underneath there. Any wires? Doesn't appear to be any wires there. So we're going to have to take three or four mil off that. That is what's stopping it from slotting into place. Where is the knife? There's there. It's about three or four mil when I went to school anyway. So I'm gonna chop that down a wee bit. It's so far so good. Gonna place that underneath that just to make sure I don't cut through. getting there we are getting there it's just need to be really really careful right, so that's, it. that's it not looking forward to this bit I'm gonna put that in. actually I'm gonna put that in there That is tricky.
I'm actually using this scraper in case the blade slips. So that I don't accidentally cut that wire. But the plastic that's holding it all in, it's very flimsy and I can't get a good, a good cut at it. one here is a bit more awkward this one is scaring the life out of me um, so if I put that in there Okay, that wasn't bad. Nobody's hurt. Right, that's two down, one to go. We are getting there, we are definitely getting there, I'm just trimming a wee bit at a time, just trimming a wee bit off at a time, because the wire is right underneath that blade. it that is this stage of the insulation done we now need to figure out how it all goes together and how it works so that is that stage of the installation done I just ran the hoover over there real quick so these are the two bolts that we took out at the very very start they're at the front they now have to go to the back which is there I take it Yes, just set them out real quick. Now, secure the two points with the bottom plate, right, using them. And fix the front two points using the two M12 bolts. What two? What two M12 bolts? Didn't even see any bolts. Oh, here, maybe that's them fucking sticking on my legs. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Disaster averted. So they go in the. They now go into the front. Along with two washers. That keeps it all level. Right. Okay, okay. So that actually looks straightforward. Take the two bolts that are originally took out from the front seats, they go in the back, right? That's spot on. And the two new bolts will then go into the front with the two washers placed down. Right. We can do that. That's one. Four up. Shoot. 
turn. That hole fits in there. Oh, it does. Ah! So that's why it's called a ratchet. That's it in. Now all I have to do is fix the seat. And we're good to go. Reinstall the seat. Fixing it down with the nuts and the bolts provided in the kit. Too bad at all. Oh, Jesus. See you out there, man. See you out there, man. I have to you know, bolt down the front two bolts and we are home on a boat. That is it. The swivel seat in, done, dusted, finitoed. Let's see if we can get the thing to swivel. Oh dear. Headrest out. Hands out. She loosened them. Turn the bolts anti clockwise. So this headrest is the one that has to come out. Nice and easy. Yes. Let's turn that around, push up, push right up, turn it, Instructions, glasses. We're going to have to have a look at this. Something's just not right with this thing. I don't know where it goes. Take two on how the actual show seat works. So the pins come out. You turn the bolts a quarter clockwise, pull them out. The headrests have to come off, it will not completely swivel with the headrests on. And now here's the magic bit. So it's a slight push up, round to the right. So. Two lines, 
push the pin down like that and it's a slight turn to the left that is it tightened and that is it brilliant absolutely well impressed with that it is actually quite comfortable and it opens up the den in area for when everything else goes in it just gives that wee extra bit of leg room now it says on the instructions that you will raise five centimeters off the floor and it probably does i love it i think that was money well spent there was people buying cheap versions on ebay and they were having so many problems with them they were having that grain stuff off the back legs stuff like that that sort of thing whoa whoa absolutely brilliant love it love it